Howdy folks. Back with another little chat. Uh, tonight I'm going to be smoking a Deadwood Tobacco Fat Bottom Betty. And since I'm doing a fireball infusion on some cigars, I am probably I'm just going to drink some Fireball since it's handy. So, I'm going to use my cigar cutter tonight. Remember, don't take too much off. Just a little off the tip. I bubbled a little bit right there. Oh, man. Being out of the season where I'm busy... And I don't teach a lot of classes and spend a lot of time in the woods and all that kind of thing. Is never a good thing. I had some time over the last few days to watch a little TV, which I don't recommend. Uh, I usually don't watch entertainment kind of things. I usually watch uh, things like documentaries and so-called supposedly professional shows and things like that. And And it has led me to believe, well, it hasn't led me to believe. Uh, I believed this before. Uh, professionalism is a lost art. Much like uh, much like common sense and And being able to speak what we commonly call English, at least at that common level. There are many lost arts. Professionalism is what I'm going to talk about today. But courtesy and common sense and good manners and the ability to drive. Hang on, my focus is acting up. Let me supposedly adjust that. I don't know what I was doing. I've been watching some shows over the last few days, which I told you is a bad thing to do. Don't watch TV. It's it gets worse every minute. Um, you've got too many folks who are supposedly in professional jobs. Now, don't get me wrong. The term I'm using here are people who are actually doctors, lawyers, scientists, so on and so forth like that. But uh, I have heard people talk down about blue-collar folks going, well, they're not professionals. They are professionals. They get paid for doing what they do, and they get paid for doing what most of the professionals can't or won't do. So, anyway, side note. Got off into the ditch there for a second. Uh, it amazes me the amount of supposed professionals who are supposed to be representing their profession and uh, their careers and their whole community and so on and so forth can't act professional. Uh, everybody wants to be the class clown. Everybody wants to be the shock jock. Everybody wants to act, basically act like a fool. It's one of those, hey! I'm a college professor. I need to relate to high school students. You don't need to relate to high school students. You need to teach high school students who have come out of high school and come to your class. Uh, they have plenty of friends. You don't need to be their friend. Uh, you don't need to be on their level. You don't need to act like a fool just because they do. <sighs> 
Same thing with parents. If you're a parent, be professional at it. Your kids don't need you to be their friend. Your kids need you to be their parent. Anyway, back to professionals. Uh, I'm watching folks online, and uh, the particular show that I was watching earlier, today, uh, was uh, folks in animal rehab, and they had a bunch of uh, professional, uh, professional rehabbers for wildlife and uh, DVMs and so on and so forth on there. And uh, I'm watching these clowns talking to each other and relating to each other and things like that, and they're acting like complete idiots, which is fine if you're going to do that on your own, play and goof around with each other. But if you are on a TV show res representing your profession, maybe you ought to represent it in a manner that makes you look like a professional. Uh, it just gets me. Uh, I was in the military, as some of you can probably tell. Uh, and the military is absolutely known for its cutting up and uh, bonding through... Uh, what What's a really good word for me to use right here that won't offend the most people? Okay, we mess with each other. Okay? But that is one of those things where most military members, not all, have the ability to turn that on and turn that off and turn on their professional key when it's time to do that. Uh, apparently, that's not an ability anymore, at least not in the supposed outside world, or anywhere else for that matter, really. All I'm saying, if you are going to be a professional representing your community, act like a professional. Uh, there's so much more I could say about that. I could probably talk for quite a while on this. It'd be better if we could talk back and forth. But I've got new internet, but I don't know if it'll support live or not. And uh, I'm not sure I want to commit to that. Because then I have to go over and sit in front of my computer and turn on the live and do all that kind of stuff. And... and not that I can't do it on the phone, but I would never be able to read your comments scrolling up and down, up and down the side. Because I'm old, my eyes are bad. So, then I'd have to sit over there, and I don't want to do that. We have new neighbors. Uh, that big burly dogs over there. White things are like above my waist to their back that kind of thing I don't know what they are uh, I haven't looked that close I'll be perfectly honest with you and I don't know if it's a puppy mill or not they put in several runs and things like that out in the field between us and them so I don't know what's going on and they got a whole bunch of them filled with dogs I, I don't know what they're doing over there but for such large dogs they have the girliest barks I don't know if you can hear them in the background it's one of those they don't have any deep dog voices they've got Voices like large chihuahuas. I don't know what the hell they're going over there. <sighs> I don't care. We live in the country. They can do whatever they want. Uh, that's really all I've got for tonight. Uh, I wanted to kind of slip into education a little bit. The education system. But I feel like that's going to take a really long time for me to vent on. Uh, getting ready to get back on the road again. Uh, we've got some things coming up in the next week or so that i got to get on. And uh, some of this stuff will be coming to you from the road. So, my even low, my even, my even poor quality is going to go down. I guess, I guess that's what I'm warning you about. Anyway, thanks for your views. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. Apparently, YouTube has decided my channel will never be monetized because even though my video time is going up and my view time, my average watch time is higher than it used to be, for some reason, my 365 day rolling average views of one, or view time has went down. I don't know how that's possible. At least according to YouTube's analytics. So. Thanks for your views. Thanks for your support.
before you go to bed tonight, go to my main page and hit play all. Turn the volume down. Go to bed. Talk to y'all later. Bye.